Hey loves, today we're going to talk about hair extensions. We are going to compare tape-ins versus clip-ins, the tips and tricks, what I think about each one, which one I prefer for certain things. I love them both. We're just going to get that out of the way. I love hair extensions in general. Um, I do have a new camera. I'm playing with the lighting, so if it, everything seems off or anything like that, I'm just, I'm working through it. I'm working through it, so please bear with me. But okay, we are going to jump into this video. I feel like a lot of the pros are for both of them. So we're really just gonna talk about the difference and how I take care of them and all of that. Let's start with saying tapins. Okay, tapins, I have them in right now. These ones are from VP Fashion. They are the 613A DIY ones. So I, when I got them, they were completely blonde. They come in a platinum blonde and then you dye them to match your hair or to not match your hair, whatever you wanna do. So I was able to dye the tops of them the exact same color brown that my natural hair is right now. And then I put a fun pink and kind of, it's supposed to be kind of a peachy. Uh, I think once it, I wash it a few more times, it will turn more peachy. It's the Electric Paradise on the end. I feel like it looks more pink on camera than it does in person. But so I used Electric Paradise from Arctic Fox and then a little bit of virgin pink to mix it. So we're just gonna start with the pros and cons of hair extensions in general. So the first pro of hair extensions in general, no matter what kind you're doing, is it, gives you more hair. It allows you to instantly, pretty much instantly have much longer, fuller hair. If you have thin hair, if you've damaged your hair, um, it's a very easy way to get hair back. Like I was pastel for so long. I prefer myself with pastel hair. I still do. Um, over, even though this is my natural color, I still prefer myself with lighter hair. Uh, but at this time, like I really just want my hair to grow. I want my hair to feel healthy again before I go ahead and bleach it again, which I probably will lighten my hair again someday. But at this time, I'm trying to just grow it out a little bit, thinking about going red, just because I need a little bit of color in my life on my natural hair. That is definitely a pro of hair extensions, so you're able to have long hair instantly. A con of hair extensions, no matter what, no matter what kind, they are usually quite expensive, quite expensive. I will have a giveaway coming very soon though, so keep that in mind. If you always want to try hair extensions, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that giveaway coming soon. I will be giving away a gift card, tape-ins, and clip-ins. So, this will help you decide what kind is best for you. And of course, VP Fashion is having a sale right now, so I will just pop that in here right now. Um, the code is CAKE. Every time you use CAKE, there's always, I think it's 15% off right now, but I'll leave all the info down below for the sale and when it ends. No matter what time of year it is, you just use the code CAKE and you save money. So that way they know that I sent you. Anyway, so we're gonna jump into the pros and cons of the different ones. So first of all, I'm wearing the tape ins right now. Uh, as I told you, I dyed them myself so they match. The biggest pro of these is you don't take them out. You put them in, you leave them in for like two months roughly, and that's it. Like you go, you can go to your hairstylist, you can do them yourself. It is quite difficult to put them in. It's very easy to like, it's a quick trip to the hairstylist. The girl that I go to, Beth at Concepts, charges $25 an hour, that's it, to get them put in. So once you have them and you dye them, um, even if you don't dye them and you just buy whatever color matches your hair, like it's a very easy, quick thing to have them put in. I don't know how much other salons charge. I find that $25, is such a steal to have them put in and she cuts them so they are layered with my hair so they look more natural that's another pro of tapins i personally feel like they look more natural they blend with my hair easier but i have a whole video showing beth putting in my ones that were green at the bottom and it take they take a little piece of hair you'll be able to see her i'll show you um you can see there's a tape right here so they take the piece of hair of your natural hair and then they apply one tape underneath and then they sandwich another one on top so it's really kind of concealing your hair in there i can still see the bits of my hair that are my natural length but i feel like they are more concealed no matter how i put the clip-ins in unless i actually like braid up and like pin up my natural hair i just feel like the tapins look more natural um, it's much easier to put your hair up. That's another pro. I love being able to put my hair up. I love being able to just brush my hair and keep my hair like up in a bun, up in a ponytail, especially towards the end of my tape-ins hair life. Because after a month and a half, two months, like they do get a little bit more dry. That's definitely a little bit of a con. We'll jump into that con. That's really the only con that I can think of is that their lifespan doesn't seem to be as long. Like I have clip-ins that I have used countless times, countless times. And I feel like it takes a good six months for my clip-ins personally to actually feel damaged or like I need to switch them out. I am the type of person that I curl my hair every day. 
So that's the only thing about the tapins is my tapins get damaged quicker because I'm curling them and putting heat on them every single day. With the clip-ins, if you curl them, clip them in, you take them out at night so they don't get as dry. So that's just when you're comparing the two, the lifespan of the clip-ins is going to be longer, at least for someone like me. If you're not like me and you don't really straighten your hair and you just kind of leave it natural or barely put any product in it, then the tapins are probably going to last you even longer. The con of the tapins is you have to be careful. You can't condition them deeply. Like you can condition the ends. You can put oil on the ends. Try to just use like a silicone based conditioner on them. Uh, when I asked VP Fashion, I was like, how can I get them hydrated without them falling out? Because if you put too much oil at the top, it's going to have them slide out of your hair. It took a good month and a half before I started losing them last time, but towards the end when they were dry, I was using a little bit too much conditioner. You're not even supposed to condition them. That's the thing, when you get them applied to, you can't condition your hair. They will use a clarifying shampoo on you and then apply them and you can't wash your hair for three days. So if you're someone that has to wash your hair every day, that's probably gonna drive you crazy, but that's totally cool with me. I am not someone that washes my hair on the daily, uh, especially cause I'm trying to get it to heal. It's still pretty dry from being so damaged. And I still have to dye my roots cause the girl's had gray hair since she was 19. So I'm still dyeing my hair. I'm just not using a bleach. Um, it's a lot easier on your hair when you're darkening your hair. So we're gonna talk about the clip-ins now too. I know this is gonna feel kind of all over the place, but I feel like when you're talking about hair extensions, there are many roads that they overlap and then there's the differences. So the positive things about clip-ins, I'm gonna show you this is just like a weft. Um, these ones are also VP Fashion. Again, the 613A DIY. Um, I usually get the 20 inches, 200 grams. Um, same thing in these, I usually use pack and a half to a pack in three fourths of the tapins, just so you guys are aware of like what's in my hair. Yeah, I didn't film me dyeing them this time, but if you guys wanna see how I dye the tapins or the clip-ins, I have countless videos on my channel. So these are the clip-ins. Here's a positive about these. They're so easy. You can decide if you wanna wear them, if you don't wanna wear them. They're not, like once tapins are in, they're in until you have them removed. I removed my own last time with just coconut oil, but I do think I'm gonna to go to the hair salon to have them removed this time just because it I my boyfriend was asleep I had to do it by myself and I don't think he'd really want to help me remove them um if my mom wasn't in Seattle with my sister I would just probably have her help me but I love Beth and I love to go visit her so I'm just gonna have her remove them this time and then probably put some more back in just because I love them so much uh but anyway these are clip-ins you can put them in yourself you can have them layered by a hairstylist you can layer them yourself I always recommend having a hairstylist layer them I had her layer one of my last pairs and I just loved them so much even more so much more. But the great thing about the VP Fashion clip-ins is that they come kind of tapered, so they look like natural hair. You can see that they're thicker on the top and thinner on the bottom like natural hair normally is. So I just felt like even if I didn't have the time to get them layered and professionally like styled, I still felt like they looked good. Uh, these are the clips. These ones I wore for probably about a month. I wasn't meant for that long. So these ones are still in really good condition. I love them both. I love both the clip-ins. I love the tape-ins. At this time, I'm really in love with the tape-ins because they're new to me. They're something different for me. Um, I love having long hair. If you're someone that just wants long hair sometimes, I definitely recommend the clip-ins. If you're someone who wants long hair all the time, go for the tape-ins. Like they're, they're amazing. They're comfortable. For the first day or two, they're going to feel a little tight because they put them so close so close to your scalp because they want you to be able to wear them as long as you can. Um, if the conditioning thing bothers you, then maybe you should go with these. Again, I just feel like it's whatever you wanna do. I feel like I'm gonna always love clip-ins. Clip-ins are like my ride or die, but I'm really loving the tape-ins right now. I'm really loving the tape-ins. Anything I'm forgetting, I will definitely like insert little blurbs in this video because I feel like I'm so scatterbrained and I tried to make a list, but it just seemed very redundant. So I didn't want to bore you guys. I just wanted to kind of get to the point, which, what are the pros, what are the cons, what I think, what I would do if I were you. Um, both of these, VP Fashion is awesome, so you can dye them whatever color you want. Another pro of hair extensions in general is that you can add color to your hair without damaging your hair. Both of these aren't going to damage your hair. I just ordered a shine spray. I'm hoping that that will help with the dryness on the ends. I'm also gonna put a little more dye on there because I feel like I didn't saturate the ends enough. I don't know, if you guys have any questions at all, please leave them down below and I will definitely do my best to answer them for you. I just really wanted to just kind of sit here and talk to you because people, you guys have asked me if I like the clip-ins, if I like the tape-ins, which ones I prefer. Uh, but yeah, here, I'll give you kind of a, you can just, you can see they're just, it just, it looks, to me, it looks like my hair. This looks like, 
when I have the tapins in, I'm like, this is the best my hair's probably looked because first of all, my hair is probably the healthiest it's been in a few years. Almost the entire time I've been on YouTube, it's probably the healthiest it's been. Um, and I do feel like my hair grows faster when I have the tapins in. I just feel like there's been such a big difference since I started using the tapins in the length of my hair. Uh, when I put them in, I just felt like I had no hair at all the last time. And then once I got them out, when it was time to put them back in, I was like, girl, my hair has grown. My hair has actually grown. And I know part of that is not bleaching my hair as often because I hated having roots. I couldn't handle it. So I just, I just feel like they're good if you want to grow your hair out and you still want long hair. Again, I love them both. I love them all. I love hair extensions. I love VP Fashion. I don't, I can't praise it enough. I also want to say a special thanks to them for being so understanding. So I do want to say that. I mean, they do send me hair extensions, but even if they weren't sending me hair extensions, I would still want to use their brand. They're also so sweet and so understanding. I had filmed this video and I wanted it up by the time that their sale started and I didn't like the footage because I have a new camera. Life has been stressful as you guys can tell. I know someone's going to tell me you're all over the place. I know I'm all over the place. I know I'm all over the place. <laughs> so you don't even need to tell me but they were just so understanding and they've been so understanding over this last year because I feel like I haven't been as like on point with my videos. They aren't getting up on the dates they're supposed to get up to because life has just been, um, I, this video again was supposed to be up, but like my sister's in the hospital. I'm like, life has just been, it's been a lot in 2017. So we're just going to continue on into 2018 and with love. And again, I just love this brand. I love the people, Selena, especially I, I communicate with her the most at VP Fashion and she's such an angel and just so kind to me. And I can't, I can't thank them enough. Um, so just know that, again, I only work with would, would ever work with brands. This is the brand that I work with the most over any other brand um, that I actually communicate with and work with on a regular basis. And it's because they're so wonderful to me that I continue to. So just know that, again, like I wouldn't, I love the hair, I love the people, I just love everything about it. So just know that, keep that in mind. Um, yeah. Uh, let me know what kind you would want to try and I will get that video up, the giveaway video up very soon for you so you guys can win a pair of hair extensions. I'm going to be giving away again clip-ins, tape-ins, and a gift card. So again subscribe if you want to be a part of that and watch out for that. And yeah okay I'm gonna stop rambling. I hope I included everything. I hope it all makes sense. Uh, I feel like this video is gonna be a lot of rambling but hopefully pretty quick. <laughs> so I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you're excited for the hair extension giveaway. And yeah, love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching.